Assalamu alaikum viewers this is english lecture mustafa salim with i am chemist today we are going to look at pmc test 3 and we are going to explain some of the grammar rules which are used in these questions question number 181 choose the correct spelling of the word so the correct spelling of something is option a uh, we always write some and think together there is no space between it question number one a two choose the correct sentence um, here we have to find the sentence with correct punctuation in this case option a is correct the first letter of sentence always should be capital and uh, and look and check for um, the punctuation mark at the end as there is a question so we should put a question mark at the end and with time expression like O clock, we use an apostrophe after O and before clock. Question number one eight three. Did I say anything to make you angry? So this, uh, what type of sentence it is? It is dec is it declarative, imperative, interrogative, and exclamatory? So it as it is a question, so this is a interrogative sentence. Declarative is actually a general statement like i am going to mark it um imperative sentence it's a kind of command um, or it can be a request then exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence is actually um, something which you say out of uh, extreme happiness or um, anger or sadness so the next one is question number 184 thank you you have been very dish through this time so uh, this is a this is an expression which you use to say thank you to someone mm -hmm. you have been very kind through this time option c is correct for 184 question number 185 either my mother or my father dish coming to the meeting so what auxiliary verb we should use here so the right option is option a is so you can see this expression here either or ya ye ya wo right either my mother ya meri walda ya mere walid aayenge not both just one of them right so therefore we have to use a singular auxiliary verb here is and uh, the next one is 186 i borrowed dish pencil from your pile of pencils and pens question number 187 choose the correct sentence he always loved sweets chocolates biscuits and cakes so here option c is correct we should always uh, put comma whenever we introduce a list of items right right here Question number 188. The word is unburdened and we have to uh, we have to select the word which closely means the same. So the right answer is option C. Free. Unburdened means to free someone from something. Question number 189. We still haven't come dish with an interesting theme for the advertising campaign. So we have to choose the correct preposition here. So the right answer is option C. We still haven't come up with an interesting theme for the advertising campaign. Question number 190. Dej people know the town better than old Jack here. The right answer is option D. Few people. Not only few, not the few. It's just few. Question number 191. It dash rain since the last night. It has been raining since the last night. So this is in present perfect continuous and we use this tense for some action which has been like started in the past and it is still continuing. Right? So the right option is option B. Question number 192. I have already got a dash at a hotel in Murray. We shall have no problems. So we have to choose the correct word here. 
the right answer is option D reservation I have uh, uh, I have already got a reservation at a hotel in Murray yani humne pehle se booking ki hui hai hotel mein right so the next word is 193 glared glared means a uh, frown or blaze kisi ki taraf usse se nazar dalna glared question number 194 choose the correct type of tense we will visit the museum so you can see the word will here will shall indicates that the sentence is in future tense what are you doing here question number 195 I TV so you have to um, choose uh, the correct tense here look at the question what are you doing here the question is in present continuous tense so the answer should be accordingly in the same tense I am watching TV I am watching TV the option B is correct question number 196 find the error so we have to read all these sentences and identify the one which is incorrect so option B so let's look at all the sentences they talk through the entire movie it is correct the plants in this garden does not require much water what do you think about this one she always brings turkey sandwiches for lunch and no mistakes if there is no mistake you can choose this one but option B is our answer there is a mistake in this one guess what the error in this sentence is actually the subject verb agreement the subject is plural here you can see there is not just one plant there are many plants plants and the tense verb here which is used is incorrect we use does with singular subject like he she it or with an with a name but if it is a plural subject we should use do the plants in the garden do not require much water it should be like this so option b is our answer question number 197 either my father or my brother stage going to sell the car the right option is option b or either my father or my brothers are going to sell the car so you can ask that you can ask uh, that in the previous question we said it is either or or so it means just one person right but here you can see this next option is my brothers it's not just one brother so it, it is like more than one brother it can be two three four so we have to use a plural uh, auxiliary verb here either my father or my brothers are going to sell the cars question number 198 Mariam enjoys eating dish cheese so what article shall we use here option D is correct we shall not use any article here because uh, when we are talking about something in general we do not use any article right so option D is correct here Question number 199. The students were awaiting for the arrival of the chief guest. We have to find the error in this sentence. And our answer is option B. Awaiting for. It should be waiting, not awaiting. It's not correct form. So it is incorrect. Question number 200. The sun dish shine brightly. We have been given the verb in bracket so we have to choose the correct form for the sentence the sun dish brightly option C is correct the sun shone brightly so that's all for today see you soon with another test on another day stay tuned with I am chemist Allah Hafiz